Hello, welcome to another edition of my daily guide with Anto Lamide. Father of light, we ask that you shine forth your light and give us understanding in your words this day in Jesus' name. Amen. Still on the Daniel series and on the topic, Manifesting Your Gifts, part 3. Now you can imagine these wise men that were about losing their lives. Remember yesterday, we took some verses of the scripture where the king threatened to kill them, not only them, but their entire household. They were about losing their lives, the lives of their loved ones, they are at stake as well, all because of the gifts they possess. Thank God for someone like Daniel who nurtures his gifts by communing with God always. You can check out Daniel's response to the king's matter in Daniel chapter 2, verses 16 to 23. They are powerful verses of the scripture. So if you think you are wise, remember, he is the giver of wisdom. And he only reveals to you what he wants you to know. However, if you desire to know more, that is, if you desire to increase in wisdom, knowledge and understanding then you get closer to him look at Daniel's approach he engaged his friends and they all took the matter to the lord in prayer look at this this same daniel that um, daniel chapter 1 verse 17 says and Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. And yet, he was humble enough to inquire of the Lord about the king's matter. He never relied on his capacity that, after all, <laughs> I possess this gift before now. I understand all dreams and visions. Therefore, O oh you king, just hold on there. I will give you the interpretations you desire. No, he still humbled himself and went to God in prayer. And when God answered his prayers, what did he do? He went back to God in praises, giving honor to him, thanking him for what he has done. That was how the Lord used Daniel and his three friends to deliver the wise men and their entire household from untimely death. Shall we take our closing prayer for today? Lord Jesus, thank you for your word that you've sent to us this day as an eye opener that our good can be better. And our better can be best. Therefore, Lord, we receive the grace to grow from good to better, from better to best, and from best to outstanding. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you all.